I'm Susan Ream. I'm Vice Chair of the Department of Infectious Disease at Cleveland Clinic. I started in infectious disease training right around the time HIV AIDS was being described. We didn't even have a name for it at this time. All we knew is that people were very, very ill and had terrible immune problems. And so we began to see very severe infections as a result of this. And um, of course, for a long time, there was really no treatment for the underlying problem. It was, it, you know, really a sobering time. Um, and, and then we began to get treatments. We began to talk about longer term things. And of course, the treatments have only gotten better with time. I think one of the myths that we deal with now is that HIV infection is a, isn't a big deal because there's treatment. And we know that that is a, a, a myth that's wrapped in some other layers. Um, the HIV is, is a bad infection and it can have terrible consequences even if people are treated right away. On the other side, we do have much, much better treatments now, obviously, than we did in the early 80s. One of the, the biggest things uh, is, of course, the immune system in HIV-infected people. People who are on a good medication regimen, actually their immune system is as good as anybody else's. But if for some reason the medications aren't working or the person isn't taking medications and the immune system is compromised, then they are vulnerable not only to things that may be going around in the community, but also to um, reactivation of latent infections or quiet infections that they already have. The gold standard would be to find an HIV vaccine. And so, you know, it, theoretically, when we're all kids, you get your chicken pox vaccine, your measles vaccine, your hepatitis vaccine, and your HIV vaccine, and that would take care of it. And in, wow, wouldn't that be an incredible thing if we could actually see, like, you know, we almost eradicated polio in the world. If we could eradicate HIV infection in the world, that would be fantastic. But that's a long ways off. But yeah, so prevention on an individual level is the most important thing right now.